Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator. We're here at... what is this? Nord... North 1. And we're picking up another geological scanner. Again, we've barely made it here on the energy reserves. This is 5 tons, this scanner. Bloody hell. And we've had quite a few problems navigating with a ski background. Wave 1 scanner is loaded in the hold. It's an outdated model, heavy and bulky. But what we really need is a recharge. See, there's a hangar now, and the runway. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Uh, I need to get to that runway there. Well, landing pad. With 380 energy, that's... Wait, why can't I get into the hangar? I want to repair as well. That would be a much safer option here than trying to get over to the runway with 380 energy, because, believe it or not, that uh, gets sucked down pretty darn quickly. We also have to look for a lost pilot in an area. I don't see the thing on the ground here. Maybe the entrance is from the other side? I don't know. Let's see. Come on. Let me in. Yes! Excellent! There we go. No. Nope. Never mind. I was just doing that. I thought as soon as I pressed A, I heard, oh, it, yeah, sorry, the entrance is on the other side. All right, this is going to be really stupid. Oh, that's going down quickly. That's going down so quickly. We've got five tons. I'm forgetting that. Okay, that's actually gone better than I thought it would. Much better than I thought it would. <laughs> so now we have an extra almost five tons of charge. <laughs> uh, let's go over to the hangar and repair as well, because Betsy needs to be uh, serviced a little bit. Yeah, it's a very good idea that I have all this stuff right here on this side where this bloody thing is, but actually it doesn't seem to have any bad stuff coming out of it. I thought usually this thing was uh, pretty dangerous. I suppose not. There we go. Lovely. It seems like this planet has an extremely short night. Okay, so we're gonna do maintenance. There we go. I didn't realize it seems like taxiing also uses energy. Makes sense. Okay, there we go. So we've got these ox engines, don't want them. We've got Arev JP chassis made by Taurus Tech facilities. Work with heavy loads by being rigid and maintaining high mobility by circulating a nitrogen argon mix throughout the shock absorbers. Rigidity 50% extra. I don't really see what the point of these things is. Um, they're half a ton heavier. You know what? Let, let's do it. Let's do it and see uh, how that works. The extra half a ton isn't very nice, but oh well. Let's see how they work. That's so cool. I love the fact that you can watch the entire process live. Hmm, red ones. That means we're faster and more powerful. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see where we need to go. Alright, so we need to place it over there and then look for that pilot over there. Okay. We could just, uh, oh, whoa, look at that. No, it doesn't seem to have any bad effects. That's weird. Five extra tons, you can definitely feel it, but these bloody engines just soldier on. They are really powerful.
could do this again. Just to uh, save a bit of... Oh, jeez. Need more power. Need more power. It's, uh, that was not very good. And we overshot it, pretty much. Oh, there's ore there. Uh oh, full power. This is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. This is gonna be good. It's gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh. Okie dokie. That was not good. But we barely took any damage. I am very surprised. <laughs> he was talking about a song of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> she just wasn't in the mood. Just turn off the, the radio. Uh, well, I suppose you can't, but then again, if it's important for ATC and such, then you're not really supposed to be uh, singing on it. You succeeded! We are receiving scanner data 2 out of 5. We should go get that ore. How did we not get any damage? Maybe it's just because we upgraded the... The next scanner is waiting for you at Metallic N. What is wrong with the cargo? Powerful portable radio station. Why they need such a fixed field based device, I have no idea. This load is extremely fragile. Take off and land gently. Avoid storms and everything will be fine. I wonder how much this ore weighs. Probably a ton. Well, more than a ton. Overcast. Visibility is significantly reduced. Be careful. See, I like the weather changes. I just wish they were a lot more a lot slower because as soon as it says overcast boom everything is overcast and that's it as soon as it says oh it's stormy it, it's immediately stormy you know it's I would like that to be a much more gradual thing how are we going to put this thing in our hold I suppose it could work but let's see how much is it nine tons <laughs> load limit exceeded okay <laughs> Alright, never mind. I wonder how much you can uh, sell that for, otherwise. Probably not as much as it's worth the trouble. Uh, right. So now we're supposed to. Let's go look for that pilot. I probably do want to. You know what? I really want to upgrade our stuff. See, they've got some pretty interesting stuff. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. They got a lot of stuff here. Uh, whoa, a hundred thousand. Ox wing, titanium ox wing, wing lift, sixty percent air drag for twenty percent. See, that's what we want. Better capacity. Lightweight version, interesting. Very nice. See what? Oh, that's uh, that's health. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I want to go to. Cargo spaceway first to upgrade her stuff. Because I don't really like flying around always going, oh no, oh no, I need more I need more power. Oh no, I'm running out of power, etc. etc. Can we get there with this amount? I love that sound effect, man. That's so cool. It's just, just powerful. Right. So there's a spaceway. Let's see where the ceiling. Of course, it's there. All right. So let's avoid that. I can already hear. You, you see a little bit of the effect of the ski. You can see it on the ship. But we're not that cl uh, We are pretty close, so... Yeah, we gotta be careful. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. That's really cool. I love this AR mode. And I know, I'm just gushing over the game all the time. And yes, it has its problems. And no, I'm not gushing over it because I'm... Uh, that they're bribing me to talk about it. 
It is just genuinely good. Really good. And anyone who's been on my channel long enough knows that I don't do BS. Uh, there was... Have I... Have I ever had anything sponsored? I... I had two things sponsored in the past. And that was uh, World of Warships, which I generally think is a fun game, although not for everyone because it's very grindy. And the... Um, what's that? That MMORPG, I did five parts on it showing all the aspects of it. But I always tell my actual opinion. I don't care if someone sponsors me um, you know, and, and says, oh, we'll give you money if you make videos on this. Sure, but <laughs> I'm going to tell people how the game is. If someone pays me to, to do a review of their game and the game is not great, I'm going to be telling you it's not great. <laughs> if, if that means that the uh, company doesn't ever want to sponsor me again, well, fair enough. Because I, mean, I think once you get to sponsorship, it's a very thin line between sponsorship and straight-up advertisement. And I don't believe in straight-up advertisement as such in to do on my channel. Because I always, I always, oh wait a second, well, to get to the cargo space, well, we'll have to go above the ski level, that's not very nice. Uh, yeah, I always believed in showing people the real stuff and games how they are and so on. This is nice actually, we're gonna get up there. Actually, we do need to go to VTOL mode. And now we are... We have dangerous ski levels. Protective circuit overloads, I know. Come on, where's my power? Oh, 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 where's my power? Come on. Oh, jeez, that's not good. This ski level seems to... Just kill the engines! Ah, oh, frig! Oh no, that's not good. Oh, I don't know how we're gonna do this now. It's not gonna be fun. Ah, oh, we can't get up there. Are you kidding me? How are we gonna go now? Oh, jeez. Um, how about you... Okay, this is, uh, this is gonna be bad. We need to land and wait for the ski levels to rise, but we're gonna have... We're not gonna have enough energy to get back up on this, on this spaceway thing. And there's nothing nearby. <sighs> Brilliant. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, you know what? At this point, while we were playing the Scarab, yeah, it's problematic. But with this ship, with this amount of money we have, it's not really problematic to call for the repair drones. Okay, I don't like that. I thought the ski thing would only overload our radar and such, but it actually also overloads your engines apparently and they shut off completely. I cannot get up to cargo spaceway. So the service drone is going to cost, f what, 4,248. So that's really not that much. We're going to call that. And now we cannot exit the, uh, the map because we need to wait for this drone to arrive and repair us because I suppose I don't know there's no animation yet for that so you just watch the map that was extremely annoying actually hmm I might have been able to do it if I had used more speed in flying mode in aircraft mode to just sort of 
skip up there, but uh, I wouldn't be able to actually... I wouldn't be able to actually use my engines up there to then slow my descent, so... Darn it. Yeah, you see that thing over there in the water? Um, those green things. I think you can actually land on them. Oh, there we go. Ski increasing. Excellent. Where's the... What? Where's the cargo spaceway? There it is. Okay, so I'm assuming now this should be fine. Let's go and find out. Hmm. I'm not too confident about this. These engines just eat up energy. Yeah, that doesn't look like... <sighs> oh, look at that! It's another craft! What? I've never seen that before. Yeah, the dangerous ski level. You said that the, da the dangerous ski level was at two kilometers. No! No! <sighs> so annoying. just want to get battery upgrades so we don't have to do this all the time I mean with with engines so powerful we practically require I mean we practically need to do stuff like with a scarab just short hops granted with much more uh, cargo and such but wow these ugh. look at those tendrils down there that's Creepy. <laughs> that looks so cool. Hello. There we go. <laughs> These are weird. Can we go underwater and see it? No. That's weird. Yeah, that's uh that background radiation is not increasing, so thanks for that. <sighs> well, it seems I cannot get up there. What about Concord? That should be much better. Yeah, and they've got lots of stuff as well. Well, not as much, it seems, but... <laughs> 25k, we can do that. Sound effect. Okay, excellent. That was much better. And I need to use the right. No. Auto level. What is the whole auto level for then? I wish they would use a high resolution uh, texture of, of that planet because that looks awesome. Yeah, well, sorta. Man, the music is great. Alright, so Concord should be a much nicer place to go to. Wait a second. Isn't the ski level even scripted here because I believe after the ski level goes up you with with some of the story missions you can then go to the cargo space I, I cannot remember ski level will be reduced soon yeah I don't think so it's already pretty darn low I mean look at this that's just no see the game works perfectly here at 60 frames a second And at some parts, it even dips below 30. Of course, I'm recording, but still. Needs optimization. Alright, so where is the landing pad? On the other side, I guess. Okay, we're gonna 
try to go around here. See, I'm using the darn rudder, and it's still... Alright, so that's a volcano. There we go, all those nasty axes. Attention pilots, forecast the strong winds, be careful. Alright. Well, they got a runway as well. Yeah, I wish I wish they made the runways a lot longer, so they're actually useful. And of course, look, look, that runway is just—I mean, you crash into that bloody hill there. Strong gusts of wind, land or lower altitude to minimum. Jeez, Not very nice. Look at that. That's uh. Quite not nice. Um, what? I can't go back. The wind is pushing me. Look at that. All right, we'll go to the hangar then. Hey, Captain. I brought a couple pallets of illegal twenty-year-old whiskey from Earth. Deliver it quietly to the M&T Corp, and I will pay you a great sum. Okay. Doesn't give me an option, but okay. Well, let's go in there and uh, get repaired. And try to get some proper upgrades. Well, let's service this. Dampeners, manufactured by Atlantic Solutions, increases the stability of cargo, anti overload. There's a pro batteries, lightweight version of pro batteries using the sports ship modification. They're almost two tons lighter, that's pretty good. Suspended ox uh, batteries, there we go. Capacity plus 3000 only. Significantly increased ship flight range. This model is focused on cargo carriers. However, as noted by the Polygears engineers, maximum allowable cargo weight is reduced. What? There's a Colossus wing, some extra lift, less air drag, rigidity 50%, already installed, power 20%, consumption minus 50%, oh that's nice, unfortunately it's also 50% less power. Yeah, see, uh, with passenger service aircraft in mind, where ability to carry a heavy payload is not a significant factor. Right, I want... High speed guaranteed. That's actually good. These are very light. I'm gonna get these wings. And we're gonna get these batteries. No, wait a second. These are so expensive. These seem to give you more capacity, so let's buy these. Yeah, there we go. 8,000 now. There's a bit more air drag, but that's alright. Anti overload. Six tons of charge. <laughs> Holy crapoli. Alright. Well, let's get out of here. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, please like the video if you did like it, and dislike it if you disliked it, and check out my Patreon because that's a really good way to support my channel. Have a good one. Bye bye.